Psalm 19 verse 14 Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. The psalmist here prays that God would govern and sanctify his words and thoughts. One commentary reads, God's word warns the wicked not to continue in their sinful ways, and it warns the righteous not to turn from his good way. David not only desired to be pardoned and cleansed from the sins he had discovered and confessed, but also from those he had forgotten or overlooked. All discoveries of sin made to us by the law should drive us to the throne of grace, there to pray. And I believe this should be our belief and our desire. As believers, we ought to be saying to God every day, Father, let my words, my speech, be acceptable to you. May it minister grace and encouragement to whoever hears it. May it be filled with praise and adoration to you. Let my words be found to always be addressing you, both with thanksgiving and in prayer. So just as this verse reads, we ought to be saying, Lord Jesus, let the meditation of my heart, my inward thoughts, that which I dwell on, may it be pleasing to you, God. And so I want to encourage you today. Just as Psalm 19 verse 14 is a request from David to the Lord that his ways may be pleasing to him. May we also have the same prayer request, the same attitude. May our words be pleasing to the Lord. And may the things that our hearts meditate on also be pleasing to him. And now, let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for being my strength and righteousness. Your word is established and forever settled in heaven. Therefore, I claim your word to be true upon my life here on earth. Great is the peace that you have placed on me. And great is the peace that is in my home and with my family. I desire to please you, King Jesus, and I desire to walk in the path of your will. I surrender my will and present my body to you, Lord. For your word says that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, who dwells within me. I am not my own. I am bought with a price. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I surrender all that is within me, including my heart's desires and innermost cares. I surrender the throne to my heart unto you, King Jesus. May you strengthen my spirit, and may you strengthen my faith, Holy Ghost, so that I may conform to the word of God and not to this world. Help me to overcome temptation, and help me to overcome the desires of this body. Through the power of the name of Jesus, I command my body I command my desires to come into line with the word of God. I thank you for your redemption, King Jesus. I thank you that because of your love and mercy, you have redeemed me from the curse of the law. You have redeemed me from poverty, sickness, and even spiritual death. Instead of poverty, you have given me riches from above. 
not just material things, but riches far beyond silver and gold. Instead of guilt and shame, you, Lord, have given me love and acceptance, and I am made whole in your love. Instead of sickness, I thank you for you have given me divine health. Instead of death, you have given me eternal life and the chance to spend all of eternity in your most wonderful and holy presence. Your word is true to me and it gives me comfort because it tells me in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 that if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Father, I humble myself before you. I am seeking your face and asking you to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I delight myself in you, Lord, because you alone can give me the desires of my heart. There is no lack in my life or with my family, for my God supplies all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You are my provider and your word has promised me that when I give unto you and unto your kingdom, then will I receive a good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. If I sow bountifully in you, Lord Jesus, I will reap bountifully. And so I thank you for your grace that abounds towards me. Father, I do not want to be conformed to this world, but I do desire to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. And so I declare that my mind is renewed by the word of God. I declare that I am increasing in the knowledge of God. I am drawing near to you always, and I am strengthened with all might according to your glorious power. I declare that I am delivered from the authority of darkness, and I belong to the kingdom of God. I am born of the Lord, and I will overcome this world because of the faith residing on the inside of me. I declare that I will overcome this world because greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. I have the power to overcome because the Bible tells me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I have the strength to overcome this world and to overcome sin, because the joy of the Lord is my strength. The Lord is the strength of my life. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding keeps my heart and mind through Christ Jesus. And so I choose to dwell on things which are good, pure, perfect, lovely, and of good report. I think on these things so that no corrupt speech may proceed from my mouth. I desire that my words only speak that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Today, Lord, I submit to you and let the peace of God rule over my heart and I refuse to worry about anything. I refuse to be troubled in my heart. I find comfort in my Father from above. 
I find comfort in the arms of the Holy Spirit. I also find comfort in your word, Lord Jesus. And so I thank you, Jehovah, for all that you do. I thank you for being my provider, my protector, and my deliverer. Thank you for your kind and wonderful mercy. Thank you for your love which is unending. And I also thank you for listening and answering this prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dear Father, I thank you for your goodness and your mercy. I thank you for the battles that you fight for me, those which are seen and those which are unseen. Father, I ask for divine protection. You know my struggles, Lord. You know what I am fighting against. You know what I am facing. And so I call for your help. I cannot do this alone. I cannot fight this battle alone. As I pray, Lord, even for the person who is listening, whatever it is that they are wrestling with, be it in their spirit, in their minds, in their bodies, whatever area of their life that's coming up against opposition, I call on the name that is above every name. I call on you, King Jesus. Set us free because whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Set us free in our minds. Set us free in our bodies from the clutches of the enemy. Set us free from unrest in our hearts. Break the strongholds that your people face. Break the chains that are pulling your children down. No more fear. No more anxiety. No more unrest in our hearts. You have the final say, Lord Jesus, and your word says that you have come to give us life and life more abundantly. Your word says in Matthew 11 verse 28, Come to me, all who are weary and heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. And so we seek your face, Lord Jesus. We come to you, Father. We come and bow down before your throne, asking for your help. We are asking for a supernatural breakthrough. Move in, Holy Spirit. Be our comfort at this time. And Lord, I ask that you forgive me if I have taken your grace and your goodness for granted. Your word has given me the promise that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I declare that no weapon formed against my family will prosper. I declare that no weapon formed against my mental health will prosper. I declare that no weapon formed against my finances will prosper in Jesus' name. And Lord, even while the enemy roams to and fro looking for whom he may devour, I stand by the power that's in the blood of Jesus Christ. I stand by the power that's in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I give you the throne to my heart and I bless your holy name. You stand above all, above any principalities, above any ruler of wickedness. There is none and there is nothing that can stand against you. And so I call upon your name. I believe that you will give me a breakthrough. Even though my eyes may not be able to see it now. I believe by faith and I believe that you are working on my behalf and you are working for my good. Lord Jesus, I pray for wisdom and discernment in this season. Help me to walk by faith and not by sight. Your word in Exodus 14 verse 14 says, The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. 
and I pray that you fight my battles, Lord. Keep me from falling for the tricks of the enemy. Be a lamp unto my feet so that I may be saved from the path that is filled with unrighteousness and evil. Open my spiritual eyes so that I may have discernment against the schemes of the enemy. I speak the blood of Jesus upon all of my circumstances right now. The blood of Jesus which rises up to defeat all evil. The blood of Jesus which is my source of victory. Birth in me a desire to seek you, Lord. I will draw near to you and I ask that you draw near to me, Father. Quicken my spirit so that I may not fall for the deception of the enemy. I pray for the light that is Jesus Christ to shine in my life. Destroy the darkness. Your word in Hebrews 12 says, You are a consuming fire. Meaning that you are a God who is powerful and holy. And so I ask that you burn away any cloud of confusion over my life. Burn away any spirit of fear that may try to attack my life. I come against the spirit of depression. I speak peace over my life. I thank you for being a faithful God. You are a God who will never leave me nor forsake me. I thank you for hearing my prayer, Father. And every single person who is in agreement, Lord, listening. Bless their lives, Lord Jesus. Fill their lives with peace. Give them a peace that is beyond all understanding. Because we look to you, Lord. We look to you in every aspect of our lives. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness will be your shield and rampart you will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness nor the plague that destroys at midday a thousand may fall at your side 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Dear Lord Jesus, I lift your name on high and I exalt you. For you alone are worthy to be praised. I come before you today asking that you make me whole. Perform a work in me so that I may be molded and shaped into the person that you desire for me to be. Your word says in Exodus 33 verse 14, My presence 
will go with you, and I will give you rest. And so I pray today that this word is true in my life. May your presence go with me. May your holy presence be with me in each and every place that I go. From my place of work to my home where I lay my head at night. May your presence be with me. I thank you for your promises of giving me rest, King Jesus. Your presence is so divine, it's so strong, that it can chase away all of the unrest that's in my life. It can steady my emotions. It can provide peace and rest to my heart. And so I welcome you. I invite you in and I surrender to you, Lord. My guard is down and I offer you my life so that you may have your way and do as you please. May your will be done in my life. I thank you for being my protection and my strength. Through all the changing scenes of this life, you are still my refuge. You are still my source of hope. And in every eventuality of life, I will look to you to strengthen me. And Father, I thank you that every assault from the devil has not, will not and cannot affect my peace because I am held securely in your hands. And when I dwell in your presence, when I abide under the shadow of the Almighty, I will not be alarmed by the arrows that fly by day, nor the terrors that stalk at night, because my confidence is in you. Your word says you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. In your glorious presence, Lord, there is the fullness of joy and eternal pleasures for all who trust in you. That's why I seek to be in your presence always. Holy Spirit, I ask that you help me to focus my heart. Help me to focus my mind on my risen Saviour, Jesus Christ. I desire to receive his fullness of joy, love and his peace. I desire to walk in line with the will of God and to be surrendered by his heavenly presence. I desire to fellowship with the Lord each and every day on this earth. There is no good apart from you, Lord Jesus. There is no treasure that can be found outside of you. Nothing can satisfy, nothing nourishes and sustains the way that you do, Lord. You are God of all, and whatever happens to me, whatever comes my way, I trust and I believe that you have ordained it, Lord. You hold my lot, and you decide everything, and you rule over everything. I desire to be in your presence, because you replace despair with hope. Hearts that have been broken are healed and mended by your hands. Lives and families that are dysfunctional and torn apart can find restoration in you, Lord. I submit myself to the authority of Jesus Christ. I acknowledge him and him alone to be the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Help me to call on your name, to search for you and seek your presence fervently. I pray that I may be quick to call your name, that I may be quick to look to you rather then try and handle things on my own. Open my eyes so that I can see 
that you are the answer for all of my problems, all of my cares and worries. You are the solution to all that I could ever want or need. And so I open my heart to you, so that I may experience a personal encounter with you. May your presence dwell in my home. I ask that you touch my life, because one touch from you will quicken my spirit. A touch from you will give me a burning desire to chase you for more. And Father, in the times when my faith is weak, I ask that you help me in my unbelief. I pray that the Holy Spirit enables me and strengthens my faith. Remove every doubt and every question that opposes you. Remove every confusing thought that tries to cloud my focus on you. You have given me a sound mind and a spirit of peace. And so I ask that you make my heart your home. I ask that you move in, Holy Spirit, and remove everything that is not of God. I desire to feel the Lord's presence, to feel the power of God, which I know can change my life. I desire to experience and drown in the full love and knowledge of Jesus Christ. Move in Holy Spirit and displace fear in my life. Destroy any pride. Remove all selfish motives. I invite you in my heart today and say, fill me with peace. With you in my life, then I know that my heart will be filled with assurance that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Your word says in James 4 verse 8, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. And so, Father, my desire is to draw closer and closer to you. I ask that you purify my heart. I repent and seek your blood to be cleansed. Draw near to me, Lord. May your presence surround me and be near me always. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I bless your holy name. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you have mercy on us, King Jesus. At our point of weakness, may you be our strength. At the place where our own ability fails, may your power begin to show. Against all odds, in the most unlikely of circumstances, even in the most unusual of events, I pray, Lord, that you be our way maker. May your grace be found readily available to see us through every situation. Father, I pray that you revive my spirit. I pray that the Holy Spirit creates a fire in me that burns brightly for the things of God. I pray that just like David, I may be after your own heart. And I thank you for your word, which says that you will give strength to the weary. You will give hope to the distressed. Your word says, come unto me, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And so I ask that you flood my heart and my mind with your love. I am coming to you to seek and find rest. I am coming to you for strength, for hope, for a revival in my spirit. And even for the person who is listening, strengthen those that are weak in their emotions. Strengthen those that are weak in their faith. 
May you give rest and peace to all of those who have a troubled heart. Revive our spirits, Lord, so that we may grow in faith and walk in victory. I ask that you reveal your glory to us. May your presence be felt continuously in our hearts. We remain confident that you are a faithful God and you will be our light in the darkest of hours. Father, because of your word, I am an overcomer. I have overcome the world, the flesh and the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. I will testify of your goodness. I will testify that you have brought me through the fire. I will testify that you have led me and kept me safe through the valley of the shadow of death. And because of your sacrifice on the cross, I am dead to sin and alive to God. It is no longer I who lives, but Christ lives in me. I thank you, Lord Jesus, because you carried my sins on the cross, so that I may be called a child of God, so that I may be cleansed and purified by your blood. And I thank you for your word that tells me that by your stripes I am healed. I am made whole, therefore I give no place to sickness or pain. Illness and disease have no authority over my body or over my family in Jesus' name, for your word is established, and you are a God who heals. By your stripes I am healed, my family is healed. Heavenly Father, through your word, you have imparted life to me. Your word says man shall not live by bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so I look to you. Your word offers me life and restores my body. May the blood of Jesus protect me. May it cover me. I will not be afraid of anything that comes my way, because everything is in your hands. You will never allow the devil to touch me. I trust and believe that you will never allow a test to come through my way, unless it is for my good. And so I invite you to walk with me. May the Holy Spirit guide me, lead me, and may he speak to me. I set my eyes and my affection upon you, Lord. I look to you as the author and the perfecter of my faith. Your word says that you will keep me in perfect peace when my mind is stayed on you. I ask that you would bring peace to my heart, bring peace to my mind and silence every confusing voice that the enemy sends my way. Let nothing affect me or my family that does not first come through the blood of Jesus. I pray that nothing from the enemy, nothing from the pits of hell, will come near me or my family in Jesus' name. I let go of anything that cannot remain under the blood of Jesus. Any bad habits, any materialistic things, any evil desires, I choose to remain under your authority, Lord, and I claim your protection, provision, and direction today. You are the good shepherd who makes me to lie down in green pastures. You lead me beside the still waters. And so I rely on you and I ask that you strengthen my faith and help me to face this day with you. And so I thank you, Lord, for fighting for me. I thank you for fighting my battles. I give you glory for listening to this prayer. 
Thank you, Father, and blessed be your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Our Lord said in Matthew 28 verse 20, And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. So agree with me in faith, and say that I expect God to keep his word. I expect him to hold me together when things are falling apart because he is my chief cornerstone. I expect him to protect me because he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. I expect the Lord to know what my tomorrow holds for me because he is the author and the finisher of my faith. He knows my beginning and my end. I expect God for a breakthrough because his word says, with men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. And so the Lord is truth and he is the same yesterday, today and forever. We as his children can expect him to fulfill his promises. Whatever he has said he will do, then the Lord will do just that. And so now let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you today knowing that all power is in your hands. You are a sovereign and mighty God. I know that you are a God that cares for your people and I place every situation that I face today into your care. My life is in your hands, my family and my loved ones, I place them into your care. I surrender every relationship that I am in to you Father. I surrender every concern every fear, every depressing emotion, to you, Lord. Whatever is hindering me from expecting your promises to be fulfilled in my life, I ask that you remove it, Holy Spirit. I ask that you remove it, Lord. Whatever it is within me, Lord, that may create doubt, that may create questions, whatever might drain my faith, I pray that you take everything and remove it, Lord, if it's not from you. And I ask that you would release grace, mercy and power from heaven and lead and guide me today. Strengthen my belief. Strengthen my faith in your word. I thank you for your mercy and for setting me free from every garment of shame. I thank you for setting me free from every garment of sin and unrighteousness. I bless your name, Lord, for you have clothed me with tender love and mercy. You have given me new garments with joy everlasting. And so I praise you because you are a covenant-keeping God a God who I can fully rely on and fully trust and depend on. And so I pray that when the enemy tries to attack me or my family, when he tries to send his dark forces against us, I pray that you are and you will be my shield, my defense and our protector. Help us to stand firm and know that you are our stronghold in the day of trouble. You are the rock of our salvation. And I speak your word, your promise to be true, that the Lord is my rock and my fortress. The Lord is my deliverer, my God and my strength. The Lord is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. 
I bless and honour your name for giving me this day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I do place today in your hands, Father. I will rejoice, and I will be glad in today, because you have given me a new day. You have given me new mercies. You have given me the gift of life. And for that, Lord, I am grateful. I rejoice and I am glad. I thank you for the grace, the protection and the peace that you offer me today. I speak the blood of Jesus over my life. May it cover my mind, body and soul. I submit all that may trouble me into your hands. This is another day, O Lord. And I don't know what it will bring. I don't know what it holds. But I ask that you go before me, Lord. I ask that you go with me throughout the day. May you direct my paths. May you be with me, Holy Spirit. May you offer me wise counsel. May you strengthen my heart to obey your commands. And Father, I ask that your mercy be shown. Have mercy on me in every area that I lack. You know my needs, Father, and you are a God who provides. I declare that your goodness and mercies shall never depart from me or my family in Jesus' name. Your word says the Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works. I thank you for you are rich in mercy. Help me to move away from the tendency to think that I can rely on my own strength. Help me to move away from the tendency to think that I can do things on my own. And even so, Father, when I fall short, I ask that you forgive me, and I thank you for always welcoming me, regardless of the state that I am in. In my brokenness and in my desperation, I thank you for never turning me away or turning a deaf ear to me. You are the Most High and a fountain of kindness. You are the giver of grace upon grace. And so, Father, I ask that you keep watch over me. Send your angels to have charge over me. May you steady my emotions. Your word says that I have the mind of Christ. You have not given me a spirit of fear or of confusion, but you have given me, Lord, a spirit of love peace and a sound mind. I choose this day to set my mind and my heart on your word and on your promises. I ask that you would help me to meditate on your word day and night. And I thank you because when I do do this, your word and your promises encourage me and they uplift me so that I may be able to overcome the day-to-day -day challenges that I may face. Father, your word says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. And so I thank you, Father, for love that never ends for mercy that never ends. I give you glory and honour, for you alone are worthy to be praised. Thank you for hearing this prayer. Amen. Psalm 145 verse 9 The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 34 
give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 100 verse 5 For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. James 1 verse 17 Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. And finally, 2 Samuel 7 verse 28 Sovereign Lord, you are God. Your covenant is trustworthy and you have promised these good things to your servant. So each and every day, we need to be declaring, we need to be confessing and reminding ourselves of the goodness of God. And so now join me as we pray. Heavenly Father, all the glory, all the honour and all the praise belongs to you. I would like to thank you for your goodness. You are a sovereign Lord and you are a good God. Your covenant is trustworthy Lord and all the things that you have promised to us as your children you will fulfil. And Lord I know that as long as my eyes are fixed on you King Jesus then I know that I can weather any storm that comes my way. I know as long as I am fixed on you, Lord, I can overcome anything that tries to hinder me. With my eyes fixed on you, I will not drown in deep waters. I will not be burnt in the fire. So today, I ask that you turn your face towards me and give me peace. I thank you that in your word, you have called me loved. You have called me friend. And that's despite my past, despite my mistakes. You have loved me with open arms. You have loved me despite my weaknesses and my flaws. And in your love, Lord, I know that every single one of my desires are satisfied. Thank you for the assurance that you will never abandon me. You will never forsake me or turn your back on me. I refuse to let the devil steal my joy and strength in the Lord. I refuse to let the devil distract me from you, Lord. And so I pray, Holy Spirit, give me the presence of mind, convict my heart, to always be alert and vigilant so that I may not be swayed by the distractions of this world. And Lord, I want to thank you, Father, that all things work together for good, for those that love you and are fitting into your plans and purposes. Lord, we look to you for direction in areas that are unknown, In areas that are uncertain, we look to you, Father. I pray today that the Holy Spirit may speak to me and make your will clear to me. May the Holy Spirit reveal your will for my life, Lord, so that I may walk in my true kingdom purpose. Show me the path that leads to righteousness. From your word, I take comfort in knowing that you are looking out for me. You are the God who maintains my peace, the God who gives me strength. You are the one who prepares a table in the presence of my enemies. You are the one that fills my cup with blessings. You, Lord Jesus, are the one that anoints my head and you alone are my inheritance. And so I am grateful, Father, 
for all of your goodness towards me. And even sometimes when I fall short, sometimes when I stumble and fall, when I get scared or nervous thinking about the future or the unknown, I pray that you forgive me, Lord, and I pray that you strengthen my faith so that I may not worry about all of these various areas, so that I may not worry about all of these things that I do not control. I pray that you strengthen my faith so that I may leave it in your hands, so that I may leave my cares and burdens in your hands. Lord Jesus, may I forever be covered by your blood, your blood that still has power today. May I forever be protected against the devil's attacks. May I forever be hidden from the sight of the enemy. I declare that only you, Lord Jesus, have the throne to my heart. You will always be first in my life. And I ask Holy Spirit that you help me to keep my heart guarded against any idols that may try and take the place of God in my life. Help me Holy Spirit to be guarded against idols that demand my attention and my priorities. May I always put the Lord first in my life. And Father I thank you that I am established, I am anointed and I am sealed by the Holy Spirit. For your word in Colossians 2 verse 10 tells me that in Christ you have been brought to fullness. He is the head over every power and authority. So I declare that I am made whole in Christ. I have been brought to fullness in Jesus Christ. I am complete, lacking nothing, because my God and my Saviour is the head of every power and authority on heaven and on earth. Because of you, Lord, because of the price you paid on the cross, I am now set apart as a child of God. I am distinguished by you. And so I thank you, for I have been bought with a price, your precious blood, a price that is worth more than any jewel or diamond that can be found on this earth. Your word reminds me in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19. And it says, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. And so, Lord, I submit to the Holy Spirit. I submit my body to be the temple of the Holy Ghost. I am grateful that your word tells me that I am not my own and that I have been purchased by the blood of the precious Lamb of God, a lamb without blemish and without spot. I thank you for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Great is the peace that you have placed on me, and great is the peace that is in my home and with my family. I desire to please you, King Jesus, and I desire to walk in the path of your will. I surrender my will and present my body to you, Lord, for your word says, that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, who dwells within me. I am not my own. I am bought with a price. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I surrender all that is within me, including my heart's desires and innermost cares. I surrender the throne to my heart unto you, King Jesus. May you strengthen my spirit, and may you strengthen my faith, Holy Ghost, 
so that I may conform to the word of God and not to this world. Help me to overcome temptation and help me to overcome the desires of this body. Through the power of the name of Jesus, I command my body, I command my desires to come into line with the word of God. I thank you for your redemption, King Jesus. I thank you that because of your love and mercy, you have redeemed me from the curse of the law. You have redeemed me from poverty, sickness, and even spiritual death. Instead of poverty, you have given me riches from above. Not just material things, but riches far beyond silver and gold. Instead of guilt and shame, you, Lord, have given me love and acceptance, and I am made whole in your love. Instead of sickness, I thank you for you have given me divine health. Instead of death, you have given me eternal life and the chance to spend all of eternity in your most wonderful and holy presence. Your word is true to me and it gives me comfort because it tells me in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 that if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Father, I humble myself before you I am seeking your face and asking you to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I delight myself in you, Lord, because you alone can give me the desires of my heart. There is no lack in my life or with my family, for my God supplies all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You are my provider and your word has promised me that when I give unto you and unto your kingdom, then will I receive a good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. If I sow bountifully in you, Lord Jesus, I will reap bountifully. And so I thank you for your grace that abounds towards me. Father, I do not want to be conformed to this world, but I do desire to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. And so I declare that my mind is renewed by the word of God. I declare that I am increasing in the knowledge of God. I am drawing near to you always and I am strengthened with all might according to your glorious power. I declare that I am delivered from the authority of darkness and I belong to the kingdom of God. I am born of the Lord and I will overcome this world because of the faith residing on the inside of me. I declare that I will overcome this world because greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. I have the power to overcome because the Bible tells me that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I have the strength to overcome this world and to overcome sin, because the joy of the Lord is my strength. The Lord is the strength of my life. The peace of God which surpasses 
all understanding keeps my heart and mind through Christ Jesus. And so I choose to dwell on things which are good, pure, perfect, lovely, and of good report. I think on these things so that no corrupt speech may proceed from my mouth. I desire that my words only speak that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Today, Lord, I submit to you and let the peace of God rule over my heart and I refuse to worry about anything. I refuse to be troubled in my heart. I find comfort in my Father from above. I find comfort in the arms of the Holy Spirit. I also find comfort in your word, Lord Jesus. And so I thank you, Jehovah, for all that you do. I thank you for being my provider, my protector, and my deliverer. Thank you for your kind and wonderful mercy. Thank you for your love which is unending. And I also thank you for listening and answering this prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen.